Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Develop Game Jam. The Develop Game Jam was a game jam that happened at and during the Develop Brighton conference. I went to the conference this year, so I got a chance to see the games in development and then judge them at the end. I was asked to be one of the judges, which was super fun. I've been playing all of the games that are into this jam for about a minute each. It was a 24-hour game jam, but all of the games were really good for the time frame. Um, the theme was Risky Business. The links to the individual games will be in the description so you can check them out further. All my info will also be in the description so you can check me out further. This video is brought to you in part by the lovely people over on Patreon, so if you'd like to support me, please check that out. Thank you. There is one VR game entered in this jam, and normally I'm unable to play VR games, um, but because I was at the physical location of the jam, I have a video clip of the, the developers playing the VR game, so I'm very excited to have commentary on that and show you. Next. We're playing Perfect Thief. Alright, so we want to collect gold and solve little puzzles. We need to be a bit slower in our steps. Alright. So far, so good. We're a very good thief. Okay. anything this way? No. Take this. Nope. Okay. We have to go slowly. Ooh. Or die. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's actually going to restart for me. I like the graphics a lot. It's a very simple game, but it's nicely made. Risky business. If you win, you'll be rich. If you lose, you'll get a nice room in jail. Or death. Next. We're playing the Pit Game Jam Edition. Okay, so let's just clear this. So the idea for this game is we are giving ammo to like these people. I don't remember how you do it. Ah, uh, I don't think I can. So basically, we're just trying to sell ammo and we don't really care who we're selling ammo to. But if you sell too much ammo to one team, the other team thinks that you're a member of that team and they start killing you and it's very bad. <laughs> take my ammo, take my ammo. So we don't want to like partake in the violence. We just kind of want to supply the violence. I think that's a very clever idea. Um, they didn't get as far as they would have liked with the game, but that's okay. Oh wait, there's something over here. A little safety area almost. Oh uh, well, a safety area full of bombs. I mean, but you know. Oh, those guys looked like they were attached to each other for a moment. Next. We're playing Fast Times at Very Me Inc. Contract of employee, plus space bar to start a very exciting new career at Very Me Inc. Very Me Inc. is not responsible for any death calls to you. We also serve the right to use your corpse in our produce. Okay, so the story is, you work for a zombie pie company. And as such, you need to sweep these zombies with your mop into the saw blades. You do this on the zero hour contract for free in hopes that someday you will be paid. And we can also walk around in the zombie's blood. I like the aspects of humor in this game. It is a very simple game. Ooh, I did it! Workplace instance avoid 35. Great work, intern. You've done so well, we're not going to pay you. Okay. However, if we die, <laughs> we get ridiculous reasons for being fired. Dear intern, as of the 13th of July, 2017, your employment with Very Meat Inc. has been officially terminated. The reasons for termination are damaging saw blades with irresponsible spine placement. <laughs> Next. We're playing SWOT analysis. Sorry for my annoying recording software in the corner. The game wants me to play full screen, but in browser. Okay, that's fine. So basically, we're this guy. And we want to, uh, we want to collect all of the money and not to die. Okay. Ah, uh, so if we even touch like the red point of that, oh, uh, oh, I fell out of the room. I 
I don't know how I'd even jump over that. Oh, this is so challenging. <laughs> you do roll like a certain distance forward. No, let me go through this level. Uh. Okay. Got it. Alright, and then we kind of spawned on top of some stuff here, but that's okay. Shift. What? Is it like this shift? Which, which one? I don't know. <laughs> Next. We're playing Risky Business, which is a game that was made in one hour with photos used from the event space. So they took around this um, engine called Flatpak and they took photos of the event space to make this. So there's a meeting in progress. Meeting zone. Should we take risks? I'm gonna pick no. Do not take risks. Sponsor icebreaker. Let's go with sponsored. We get some money. Office presentation. Action marketing itself. All right. So we can either do an industry conference or markets itself. Let's market itself. Market report. 150 is like million billion. So much money. <laughs> Acquired. Perils. I don't want to acquire perils. But that's risky business. So you can sort of follow this like flow chart to go down different routes and see what happens. And it's actually quite funny. Next. We're playing Dragon Feeder. Your dragon pal is lonely and hungry. You must creep out of the house to minister to his or her dragony needs without waking the olds. Shh, beware of noisy implements. Too much noise will result in a trip to the naughty stair, followed by a swift return to your bedroom. I'll press this. Actually, let's, let's use a controller. So we've got a lot of noisy things around. This is our bedroom. Alright. So we wanna... Ooh. What's that? Yeah, we broke a vase. Man, my parents' house. It's full of stuff. The floorboards are also quite creaky, so we need to slow down. There's a way to sneak. I'm not sure what it is. Ooh, the wind chimes woke them up. Feeding my dragon. Yeah, I didn't even make it that far. There's also cats to meow and squeaky toys on the floor. And there's tons of stuff that can wake up your parents. I was caught though. Let's go around this way. Okay. Just let it go. Look at that cat. <laughs> I find the cat funny. Next. We're playing Ghost Office. Type start to play. So this is a typing game. And it won. I very much enjoy typing games. Client Synergy. <laughs> So Tom Cruise is haunting your office, which that's his picture in the background. And you have to type businessy words. Cork. Let's see. Do you exercise them? Exor exorcist? Yeah, whatever. Viral cash flow. These words are sort of randomly put together, so sometimes they make really funny things. Okay. Next level assets. Awesome, so far so good. Desktop stocks. All right, what thing's next? I like how the thing just disappears. Open source leverage. I'm gonna have to buy more office furniture. All right, robust SEO. Okay. Ah, so now the picture is transformed. Diverse merger. Now I do want to show you the end title screen to this. 
So I'm gonna die. Typing none of the right letters, but still typing. And nope. That's one. This is my computer. I need this. Sustainable Benoit. Bam. Okay. So he's transformed again. This is his final stage. Agile. Diversity. Bam. Typo Kato Tim. But they've also made this song that you can sing along to. Which is just hilarious. <laughs> Next. So these next two games I'm unable to play, but I have some footage from the event. The first one is Last Mouse Standing. Now I'm over here. You can't actually see my mouse. I'm sitting on one of these chairs playing the game. It is a local four player game. It requires mini SNES controllers, and there's only a Mac build up. Now, though you can't see the game too great because it's quite bright. It is really, really quite a wonderful, fun game. You play these little mice, and you have to like sort of dash up the screen and collect coins. But you can also push a different button, and if everyone pushes it, or it get it fills up a bar next to the cat, the cat swipes. So the idea is you can swipe um, the other players. Like if you time it well enough, um, you can get the cat to swipe the other players' mice. And if you die, you can still influence the cat to help make the game stop and become over. I guess help the game end. But it was a really, really fun party game. Um, I'm going to show you the game page because it's a really cool screenshot of it. So there's only one screenshot up, but here's the like aesthetic of the game. So the little mice are all different mice, are all different colors, and everything's super colorful, super cute, and it's a very fun like arcade-style game to play with friends. I hope it does um, come out on a Windows build because I'd like to play it and see it at events. It does need a little bit more polish, but it's very good for what it is. Next. Last but certainly not least, we're going to be checking out this sort of risky business VR game. There's no game page for it, which I was quite surprised about. And this probably isn't the best way to view it because it's on this small little computer screen inside this room. But it's a very interesting game. So you start off by talking to this guy who says, are you ready to get rich? Give me your coat and we'll start the show. <laughs> And so you hand him his coat and you end up in this room <laughs> where you are definitely stripping. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of uh, rocky camera angles as he sits back down. So whenever you take off a piece of clothing, you can throw it at one of the people watching you. And then if you hit them, you'll get some extra money. <laughs> There was quite the variety of clothing that you could take off. It was a pretty funny game. But this is the last game that was entered in this jam. So thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, I'm sure there'll be another game jam next year. If you're interested in entering, there will be a link to the develop conference. And there you can find the game jam info in the description. <laughs> Bye.